I, so I don't know if I'm going to use this footage, but I wanted to try filming something like more vlog style where I'm talking to the camera. And like two weeks, today is April 2nd, like two weeks ago it popped into my mind that I wanted to make a webcomic. Which is kind of weird because I haven't actually like really wanted to do any kind of comics. I was really into making, or I was really into the idea of making web comics when I was like 16. I would always like start web comics and start new stories, and then never get past like the first page because I didn't know how to make comics. And since then, like it actually hasn't really been something I'm that interested in. Like people will think that that's like what I want to do because I do cartoons, but I'm really more interested in animation. And I've done like since I was 16, I've done like three comic pages total and none of them have been like in an effort to start a webcomic it's been like as a proof of concept or like for portfolios and stuff but like two weeks ago it kind of popped into my head that I want to make a webcomic I don't know why but it's kind of stuck with me so I've decided that I'm just gonna roll with it since I can never focus on anything for longer than a month I'm going to see if I can make it in one month um, it is April 2nd. I was gonna film this on April 1st, but I don't know, I, I just didn't feel like filming. Uh, I have started working on it, so I guess we can show you that now. All right, here's my iPad uh, in my little folder. This was, I think, yeah, this was the first thing I did after like deciding I wanted to do a comic, uh, a little character redesign. I started on setting designs because I haven't design like properly designed a background in forever uh more characters more characters more said yeah it was mostly just like designing everything that i would need for the first chapter it just like it's all design stuff and then oh, yeah, i also tried to like did some experimentation with like how the text bubbles were gonna look and this was a final thing of all of, like the new characters i needed so all of these I did like before April started, like I decided like April was going to be the month where like I complete the webcomic and I do everything. But I started preparing before that because I don't know, I just, I just wanted to start on it. I've decided it's going to be like a pretty episodic type of thing because I can't like... <laughs> if I tried to do like one story, first of all I wouldn't want to like write it all out now and then it would just become a mess. But also just like I said, I can't focus on one thing for too long with art I feel like or I'll, I just get bored of it so fast so I think that if like I make it a more episodic thing where I'm kind of making it up as I go and stuff is more contained then I'll be able to like <laughs> then I'll be able to like update it for longer I don't know how long I'm gonna update it like I love to think that I'm gonna like you know keep going with it until like I reach this conclusion that I kind of have, like I have a vague idea of what the conclusion would be for this in my head, but honestly, like I'm going to college in a few months, like I kind of doubt that I'm gonna keep on updating it after that happens. I don't know, we'll see. I think I'll at least get like a few more episodes out eventually. I'm probably gonna show off my progress for each page and talk about like the hurdles in doing this and maybe get into, you know, like actually uploading it, but I don't know, we'll see. Hi, so moving into the time lapses, I started with the thumbnails right after doing a fairly detailed um, script where I wrote out what was gonna happen on every single page and Thumbnails are pretty hard for me, especially with comic pages, because you have to work out with like all these different panels and fitting in all the dialogue. So I just struggle and it's very important for me to get it out really rough so I don't have to worry about composition later on. Uh, these took a surprisingly long time considering how scribbly and not technically very good they are. But if I've learned anything throughout this project, it's that these things kind of add up. So yeah, together they took quite a while. Hi again. So it's April 3rd, so only like a day later. I'm supposed to be doing- I'm faking doing my homework right now. But right now I'm in the line art stage and I thought I would show you a little bit of what that looks like. So I start out with the thumbnails in Procreate on Page Assist and they're very loose. I feel like you can't really even tell what's going on in most of these. So after I get the thumbnails done, then I go in with, you know, simple panels and lettering and I do all of that before I then go in with sketching. 
And the sketches start off looking like this. They sort of don't have like any line weight. And you can, you can still kind of see the guidelines drawn out. I don't always even erase them, they're present. And then I start sort of like adding in more line weight and like thickening up lines, erasing certain guidelines that are getting too in the way. And when I finish up with the line art, uh, they end up use, looking a bit more like this. And it's day three, I've got what, six, seven, eight pages so far that I've started line art for. I've definitely slowed down, like the first day I did four of them, and then I've been doing two per day since then. But I think we're going pretty fast. However, today is also the last day of spring break, so I'm kind of worried that, you know, once I'm actually in school, it's going to be a bit slower. So yeah, we'll see. So as I said, the first step after the thumbnails was just drawing out the panels and the typography. And the way I did this chapter was in waves, so I did all the thumbnails for every page, and all the line art, and then all the coloring. And doing the panels and writing all at once was kind of a pain because I decided to hand letter it. I really don't know why I did this because I made a font of my handwriting, but there were a few issues with it. So instead of fixing them, I decided to hand letter the entire chapter, which took no joke like seven hours. And then to add insult to injury, I ended up redoing a lot of the typography because I did it way too thick the first time. And like, I don't know, it was all just really annoying and pointless. Right now I'm working on episode two for this project. I'm pleased to say I have a font now. That was kind of a running theme for this project. Like I expected the line art and coloring to take a while, but there's so much added time you don't really consider with like character and environment design, writing the script, thumbnailing, typography, it adds up. It definitely didn't help that I was trying to do a bit of rendering and add backgrounds to every single panel, but I really don't like it when comics will do like one establishing shot of the setting and then every other panel has no background. So I think that's something I'm not gonna ever give up. Uh, episode 2 actually has way more world building and complex environments than episode 1. The one time saving trick I did use was I traced a few different stock images for panels where I was struggling. I only think I did that like twice, you can see it pop up in that time lapse though, so I figured I would point it out. It was pretty helpful where I did use it, but most of the time there's not an image for whatever like specific situation is going on, so I kind of kept it to a minimum. But yeah, this all took quite a while. I worked on it a few hours at least every day. The only day I took a break was actually the Seder when our power went out, and when I finished the line art stage of the comic, I actually had some people over to do like a test reading of it, which is really fun. Like I definitely recommend that for anyone who's doing a comic because I was like the only person who'd seen it before then, but then I was able to like share it with people and see them enjoying it too from like an audience perspective, which gave me a lot more motivation to finish because that's a huge reason for me making this so I can share it with other people. So yeah, that was probably the most fun part of this whole thing. I wish I'd gotten more critical feedback, but my friends are a bunch of fools who didn't want to criticize anything, they just wanted to like ship the characters. Um, pretty early on into this, I started thinking about hosting platforms and what they would or wouldn't allow, so I started looking into that. And I know that the comic is like in the clear right now, but with future chapters, I'm not completely sure. It's nothing sexual or anything like that, but there's like a lot of my own weird personal experiences that are going into the comic and it's kind of very strange and venti in that way. I think it should be fine, like it doesn't promote anything bad, but yeah, that's something to consider. Right now it's only up on Webtoon and Tapas, but I'd like to expand it to other platforms once I can do the research. So it's late um i'm about to go to bed that's why i'm talking kind of quiet but um today i finished the comic like i finished the coloring i don't i think i'm gonna change a few more things but um i figured like oh i should probably flip the canvas it's on page assist so it's all one canvas and i flipped the canvas to like do like some liquify to fix like any small mistakes that might be tossed around and um I have been humbled, like there was pretty much every page had like a bunch of like pretty glaring problems that I saw and I you know like I fixed them for the most part I think but now I'm just feeling like kind of like worried about like the art in the comic and there's still a decent bit to do with like cover art and like other like promotional art with it so I don't know. I I think that if I like just take a few days away from it, then like 
I'll be able to look at it more clearly because I've been working like three weeks straight on this. So. Ah uh, yes, so the cover. I waited until I pretty much finished the entire chapter to make this because I was kind of intimidated like it's gonna be representative of the entire comic, but I ended up using an illustration idea that I'd already written down before and I just kind of jumped into it and yeah, there's not much to say. I'm really happy with it though. Okay, and then there's the episode cover, which I guess you'd call it. I kind of dropped the bomb on this one. Like, I feel like it's just so mediocre looking. I really like the idea of doing episode covers since I can do a more in-depth illustration for each episode. But by this point, I'd already done the actual cover and I just couldn't seem to get any composition that I liked. So I went with the simplest one. And then I don't even know what's going on with these colors. Like, they just look so boring, but... I was on a deadline and I'd already done so much art that month that this is what I ended up with and I kind of just had to go with it. So it's April 30th, um, today is the day. I'm pretty excited, not only because I'm going to be putting up the first chapter today, but also because I got my first commission today. I didn't have commissions open at all because, I don't know, it just had, it wasn't something I had looked into, but someone DM'd me on Instagram asking for a commission, so yeah, now I have my first commission, which is really cool. But, um, <laughs> I took five days off from looking at the comic. I, like, didn't work on it or look at it at all. And then, in the meantime, I made the cover art. But when I came back to it, it was a little bit easier to, like, you know, um, look at after being away from it. I talked to some more people because I only had two people test read it and I needed more opinions because they weren't giving me a ton of feedback. Um... And yeah, I, I'm nervous, um, but I'm gonna put it up because, you know, it's like just the pilot and hopefully I can improve on the quality in the future chapters. I do think I am going to be doing weekly updates with like individual pages because when you do the whole chapter, I feel like I was a lot more likely to cut corners and I'd like to improve the quality for the future chapters. Um... I still need to make a content warning page, but that shouldn't take too long, and then I could put it all up. Okay, so it's just taking me like two hours to do all of the resizing and formatting for these different websites, but it's up. Uh, it's here on Tapas. I also have it on Webtoon, if um, so that's on multiple platforms, but yeah, it's up. I have the whole first chapter, which is really exciting. I'm probably gonna cut out um, a decent amount of the later pages in the time-lapse footage just so that I don't spoil it. So if you want to read it, um, it'll be on Tapas and Webtoon. I'll link it in the description. I'm really tired from spending all goddamn day just uploading this shit, but um, yeah, I don't know how to end this video. Thank you for watching, um, and I'm gonna be upload- I'm gonna take a week off and then I'm gonna start uploading pages again, so stay tuned.